Welcome back. The next software that I'm going to demonstrate for you is Affinity Publisher. This is the most recent addition to the Affinity Suite, um, which also includes Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, which are basically analogs to Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign from the Adobe Suite. Um, you'll notice immediately that it looks similar, but it also has a much simpler looking interface. It keeps a lot of things grayed out um, until you click various tools, and then it just brings up the options associated with that. So let's get started. I'm going to go to File and New. And it's remembering the last thing I created. Um, and so we're going to do a page width of 7 inches, a page height of 10. We've got it set to 300 dots per inch, and we're using the units inches. And facing pages, um, I've got it set to RGB, which is what KDP prints in. Our margins are set at 0.375. If I wanted to change um, any one of these, I have them all linked together right now. So if I change one, it'll change all of them. If I wanted to just um, change one of these settings, I would just unlink them. And same thing with bleed. So I'm going to do 0.125 bleed. I have them linked, so it's just automatically filling in all the boxes. And now I can say create, and here is my document. So we've got some rulers showing both on the top and along the side. If you don't see those, go to view and uh, make sure that show rulers is selected. We can see we've got this gray outer line, which represents our bleed line. The white line is the edge of our document, and this kind of bluish purple line is the margins. So let's do the same thing. Let's create a notebook paper. And one complaint that I have and people have is that the line tool that we saw in InDesign isn't apparent. You actually have to create a path um, using the pen tool. So I'm going to select on the pen tool, and so you'll see a bunch of things popped up here. So we're going to make some changes. So first thing for the mode, we want it to be a line. So there's this one that looks like a line, and it says line mode. So we're going to click that. We also need to apply a stroke to this path. So we've got the option of a solid line, a dashed line, or a textured line. We're going to do a solid line. And then you can use the slider to change the stroke weight. I'm going to just manually enter that as 0.5. You can also do different things. You can create like a rounded end to your line. Um, if, you've got, if you're drawing like a square, um, you can create different sorts of joins at the corners. So you do have some options there. Um, so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the stroke color. So I'm going to click on stroke. And I want to just click over to swatches here where it's giving me a whole gradient of grays. And so let's just um, pick this gray here. And now we're ready to go. So I'm still in the pen tool. I am going to go over to my bleed line and I am going to hold shift. You'll see it nicely lit up to let me know I was right on the bleed line. And it's going to do the same thing for there. And so now we've got our first line drawn. I'm going to switch to the Selection tool or Move tool. It's still highlighted and that's bringing up my location box down here. So I'm at 0.61 inches. I believe in our last document we went down 3 quarters of an inch. So let's just change it to 0.75. So now we've got this white space of 3 quarters of an inch at the top before we start creating our lines. Now, the next thing that is missing explicitly in Publisher is the step and repeat that we used in InDesign, but there is a workaround. So I've still got this highlighted. I am going to go to Edit. Sorry, I'm not going to go to Edit. Yes, I am. I'm going to go to Edit, and down here um, we've got Duplicate Selection, which the keyboard shortcut is Control-J or C Command-J if you're on a Mac. And so I'm going to do that, Control J, and that just duplicated another one. There we go. So I can see now in my layers that there's a second one there. And I'm just going to grab it and pull it down. And then 0.75 plus 0.28 should be at 1.03 inches. 
So just down here in the bottom right, I'm going to set that position exactly 0.28 apart. So now if I command, command or control J again to duplicate it again, it's going to remember that offset and give me the same thing. So we're looking for this number down here when I do control J to be 1.31. So let's see, control J, there we go, 1.31. So our next one's gonna be 1.59 and there we go. So it is remembering to space each subsequent line exactly 0.28 and that's based on where you position that first copy. So now I can hold control and just go J, 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 J all the way down the page and it's going to remember that offset. So it's not quite as slick a step and repeat but it's definitely easier than copying and pasting over and over again. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna go back to the pen tool. It's remembering everything I already set up. So let's go to roughly 0.3 quarters of an inch. Let's draw in our vertical line. I'm holding shift again. And there we have our notebook paper, um, just like we created before. So what do I like about Affinity Publisher? Well, obviously the price. You can't beat the price. Um, it, if you do have the whole suite, you are able to kind of switch between these different personas. Um, so that means that you can kind of, if you need to do some editing in designer or photo um, for something that you're working on in here, you can kind of switch between them. The other thing that I think is nice is there's a couple of, um, there's a lot of different shape options in here. So if I click on the shape tool, you can see there's a lot of pre-made shapes in here. Um, and in the Adobe Suite, um, you know, you can use the star tool and you can create different amounts of points. Uh, same with the poly, sorry, I think it's the polygon tool. You can create different point uh, numbers on it and create stars and flowers and stuff. But things like this arrow and the donut and the pie, the crescent, cog, cloud, the call out buttons, the tears and the hearts, that's just not pre-made in Illustrator that I have found yet. So uh, I think that's kind of a nice feature. Um, generally speaking, if you know how to use InDesign, you will figure this out fairly quickly. Um, you know, a lot of these uh, menus across the top are very similar but they um, have different things in it. And like I said, this is the newest of the Affinity Suite. It just came out of beta in uh, late 2019, I believe. So um, it is still fairly new. They're still updating it, adding features. Um, so I, I expect it's only gonna get better from here. Um, it also does have master pages, so that's really nice. Um, just like we saw in InDesign, you can create kind of a template page and then just uh, repeat it on whatever pages you want. So you don't have to design any given layout more than once. So that's a quick look at Affinity Publisher. Um, if you are wanting to use a pro tool and a subscription is out of your budget, this is definitely the one that I would pick. And because you're saving so much money, I would just get the whole suite so that you can do a lot more with graphics um, and import them directly into your documents. So thanks for watching.